obsessive DP. All right, so this is something that I've been curious about for a long time. This is called the Lumu Power Meter. It is just a meter that you meter light with on your phone. The goal of this video is to see if this guy, the Siconic, this is the professional industry standard light meter, can match this Lumu Power $150 piece of equipment versus the $350 light meter. The claim of Lumu Power is that it's just as accurate as a professional light meter, but we're about to find out. Behind me is a lot of lights. We have a Hudson Spider, a Redback, as well as a M18 bouncing into a six by and then coming back through this eight by quarter grid. So let's start with the Lumu power. Let's see what it's reading at right here on my face. Let's see what it's reading. It's at so we're looking at a rack 2,200 lux. Rack. Cool. I want to let's try the Siconic. This is the professional let's industry see standard tool. Behind her. Let's see what this is saying. Oh, 2,000 lux, that. that's pretty close. What was the other one, 1,900? <laughs> yeah. What they're saying side by side. Um, we can also tie rope. 1900. Let's and move this over just in case. Okay, it's about a 200 lux difference. That's what this reading. There's also a setting to pop this guy out. Let's pop that out. And now. It's still about a 2000 lux difference. So, I trust this because this is made for this. Let's go back over here. Um, that's how I feel more trust really about this. This is really close. I'm really surprised. What the difference here is that this actually has a, a code where this is a flat reading, which is different. This is actually measures light color as well as brightness. So there is definitely um, more features to this item, which is really cool. I really like it, but there's definitely downsides because this is also my phone. <laughs> so if I want to use it as a phone, I don't want this sticking on the bottom because I feel like I'm going to break it. That was probably the biggest downside to this. And I like that this is just an all-in-one tool. If I need my light meter, I just go grab the light meter and turn it on. If I need my light meter on my phone, I have to plug it in. Then I have to open the app. And it's just not as seamless, not as efficient, not as professional as this tool. But I'm surprised. Let me do one more reading. Let's go real close this time. 9,000 lux. 7,000 lux. That was a big difference. That's about a 2,000 lux difference on that one. So, it's interesting because it was, was it higher last time? Yeah, it was, it was 200 lux higher last time. Now it's 2,000 lux difference. So, I wouldn't say it's as accurate as this. I think this is more accurate. This is still a good tool. Um, it's fun. I like that it's a two-in-one but I'd probably go for this, honestly. And just for clarity here, I ended up testing both light meters in several more scenarios just to make sure. And in almost all of them, the Lumu Power had higher readings than the Siconic and the Illuminance. But oddly enough, there were a few times where the readings flipped and the Lumu Power was reading a lower lux than the Siconic was. The only time the two were reading very similarly was in super low light, and that's probably just because it was super low light. It was only like four lux. This really confused me. I couldn't figure out why it would read higher sometimes and lower at other times. And then I realized something that threw an even bigger wrench into this comparison. I switched over to cine mode where the meter measures stops of light. And the Lumu Power here was reading much more similarly with the Siconic. It almost always read one tenth of a stop hotter. But that's not really that much of a difference. Now, it was a lot hotter in direct sunlight, but in a normal scene lit scenario, it actually read very similarly to the Siconic, and I feel like it's usable on set. And I think I finally figured out why this was working, and the Lux reading was much different. And it's really, really strange. The Siconic measuring tool has a piece of plastic that is dome-shaped. It's called the Lumisphere. And the Lumu Power has both a flat side and a coved side, and here's the weird part. I thought initially one side was for color readings and the other was for exposure readings, which would make sense. But that's oddly not the case. The flat side of the Lumu reads both color temp and lux, which is color and exposure, two different types of readings, while the coved side reads the stops of light. The coved side meters the stops of exposure in cinema mode. I would think that the same side of the Lumu would read both lux and exposure since they both deal with light intensity, but that's not the case and I really don't know why. 
but maybe I'm missing something. But the point I'm trying to make is, the Lumu is pretty much on par with the Sakonic in Cine mode. And I think the flat side is actually throwing off the readings due to the way light interacts with flat surfaces. So, even though I would still recommend the Sakonic of the Lumu, I still think it's more powerful, more of a professional tool. If you're measuring stops of exposure in Cine mode with the Lumu, it holds up pretty darn well in most scenarios. So in that case, I'd recommend it. Stay obsessed.